All right, welcome back to Jurassic Park and our Jurassic Difficulty Challenge mode. We have a construction accident, moving a bathroom. Um, incredible. <laughs> this is uh, a very inexpensive building, which is going to cost us 500k. But we're going to minimize the publicity rating hit for sure. So that's what we'll do. Eh, we just completed the contract at least. This still isn't fixed. We've got a set of amenities here to cover this side of the park. That should get our ratings pretty high. I had to move the bathroom and the substation out there temporarily to like make sure the level was pretty flat here to fit them in. But it worked. And so we're good to go there. Um, yeah, this all looks pretty fine. If we wanted to uh, ever try and hide some of the, the steep contours, you can always just do this and just put some uh, some trees in there. And then it looks... Less obvious that there's weird contour things going on. Okay. Well done, you. Let's get the other Styrax. So, the existing Alpha is the one that has Humble. So there's no need to put Humble in any of these Styrax. It's completely irrelevant. Instead, I think we spam Resilient on the pack. And... I I uh, I guess we'll slap lifespan on. Is it worth it? No, because we don't want these the we don't want the secondary pack members to live longer than the alpha. It's pointless. I guess we'll just do full resilience call it a day. We could do you and then have you rest afterwards. I suppose that's worth it. All right, people should be on the way here. Healing and scanning Dilo still. Um, I mean, you're there. Are you dumb? What are you, what are you, what are you, what, what is, what are you, why are you just following him? You're incompetent. You're actually just incompetent. Get the fuck out of there. Apparently, these dilos being in the water like that makes them uh, completely immune to any kind of darting. Oh my god, can somebody please... Wait, why is this not... Did it get retainted? Why, why are they not on Disinfect Feeder? Did I grab these ones? No! Wait, I had nobody on Disinfect Feeder? Did I, like... Accidentally click on scan a dinosaur or something. God damn it. Ah, uh, That sucks. That's bad. Um, okay. Well, there's a Patasaurus. Done. Grab that Kamara and clear it out. Has to be you, I guess. You take a break. Um, fossils. What do we actually want to dig up? Could do Trodon because of Jurassic Park the game. Probably will. Because nothing else here really, like, has a good argument for being in the park. Yeah, okay. 3.4 stars, we're really close to 3.5. Amenities coverage is bad now. How's it bad? We did increase path capacity. Just leave my cars alone. Oh, actually it's good up here. It's bad here, because this still counts for some dumb reason. Maybe because of where the point is? Oh, this is bad down here now. Um, do we try to get large amenities in here somewhere? That's going to be dodgy. This is, yeah, this is going to be tough. One, two, and then like one down there or up here. 
What if I delete the hotel? If we delete the hotel, it actually works better too. Oh crap. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. That doesn't need to be powered. I mean, we could just move the power station, but honestly, just delete it. It doesn't matter. Okay, feeder was cleaned. MVU, still getting up there to deal with this. this. Salmonella research available, it looked like. Yeah, we probably actually need that to be able to do anything to them. Okay, 3.3 stars. Okay, nice set of five eggs. Yeah, we'll take four more Styrax here. Set of five on Styraco feels pretty okay. Do that. What next? Uh, we want more Myasaurs. We'll do that after these Styrax are done and out. Uh, this stuff is done. Well, some of this is done. Oops. I wonder if there's any way to fit other stuff in here. A lot of green for you. Falafel wraps. I guess. Where am I? Ice cream. Yeah, if we, the only way to get that in here is to remodel this, but we can sneak like the shelter in there, um, which might be a little bit better. I could also like delete that hotel over there too. Green and white again. Shit. I mean, we know what it's gonna look like. Yeah, so boba tea, I guess, with uh, skeleton display, and a, a, or I mean an aquarium and a uh, photo booth, not a skeleton display. Okay, and then this one deletes, we can put the other shop in there. I mean, the medical team is almost there. Pato is complete. We do have like a 20 dinosaur species target on this map, and our appeal is pretty low. So I think we'll probably actually have more than 15 dinos in this build. We're just fine. I do want more triumph, actually. You get in there. Commodish rating 99%. Same deal, basically. Uh, we could put a large hotel in. I'm thinking it probably just makes more sense to do like a large hotel over here. Over here? Yeah, this is like not a good space to fit anything. We could sneak another dinosaur enclosure in over there if we wanted to. So let's just do, just do a little bit of this. One large hotel that we're going to go over here. I 
I don't think we even need this power station anymore then either, which is good. Yeah, so this is a prime area to put uh, like another herbivore enclosure in that the tour just runs through or something. That would work pretty okay. Or even maybe another carnivore enclosure in here. Maybe this is where we put the Troda on. Because we can put the Troda on with enough of a gap that it doesn't get close to the trikes. And there's already no paths here. Because otherwise... Yeah, I think I want the Trodon down here. Maybe like just right here on this lake, honestly. That's a nice little section. Yeah, this is a great spot right here for Trodon. We'll do that. Because then we could even still do more herbivores. And it would be fine. Okay, 96s are better. That's what I want to see. So basically we're getting a 4% penalty from the entryway the way it's set up on the map. I don't want to fix it. We'll consider that a penalty of the mode. Um, wait, wait, where'd the... It went home. Oh, because it scanned them, not medicated them. Yeah, that, that actually makes sense. I understand. That's a reasonable thing. Uh, Styraco, Alpha, get out here. And the other, other ones right after that. I'm gonna let this one get a little closer. It doesn't matter, but like... Yeah, because it takes it takes time for these guys to get over there anyway. The the choppers, it's not like instantaneous pickup. Salmonella's gone, fantastic. Um, give me more Myasaura. Thank you. Trodon fossils are in. Three point six stars. Okay, so that opens up research again. fuck just fell what just fell how did it how did something just fall my phone just fell it probably vibrated or something uh four gaps i think we just process that i don't think we worry about that too much so we do that research is this brocky available now that's not where brachiosaurus lives it's hidden under here yes 18 genetics though which we can do when the synthesis is done. Uh, we can do this. Yeah, we should get the Rex too. 3.5, but we need the Stegosaurid nodes. Well, let's do one of those then. Yeah, actually, we should have been doing some of these prerequisites earlier. I kind of slept on those. Staff upgrades, 16. That means an average of 8. So if we make you a 9 and you're a 7, those two can do that. Um, let's go ahead and knock that out. Okay, then I think that's kind of it just leaves us with this person the welfare specialist and they can't really do anything by themselves one minute on myasora but we gotta get these styracos settled anyway so that's fine all right there's the alpha come in ground fiber forest and water it's already got some ground fiber at least All right, Styraco number one, Yukon Lethal Baits. I mean, it's a Styracosaurus, all right. Great alpha, skin doesn't do much for me. All right, 
Four more Myasaur eggs. Skittish and Weak are both fine by me. That gives us eight. Eight's a good number. Uh, both of our genetics people are available. Let's make sure we use them. Get me some Brockies. Oh, they need another point of logistics between them two. All right, there's Brachiosaurus, prerequisite. Asset transportation complete. It may not be easy to watch, but fighting is a part of nature. Corner any animal and watch them react. Who's fighting? With the dinosaurs, it's normally just on a what are you talking about? More violent scale. Viable on Trodon. All five Styrax are down. Just need the territory to merge, but their margins are incredible. Fucking storms. Uh, largest territory, no. Number in the park, yes. Oh no, it's two Kamaras. Um, not gonna do it. I'm not gonna put Kamara in. Four stars, 4.5 stars. Well, whatever. We don't have to worry about contracts for a while, at least. Okay, uh, can we check out these Styrax real quick before the storm? It's pretty dark out. We'll check the Styrax later. Comfort not... Okay, so this storm's only dropping them 10%. I guess we had an exceptional storm before that dropped them 20%. So I never knew that was a mechanic either, that the storms varied in intensity, apparently. Curious. Unless that was a quirk of the intelligent or the raptors. No, 90%. Instead of 80% on the comfort level. Yeah, so that was like an exceptionally bad storm. That's cool as a mechanic, actually. Because it adds a little bit more challenge to things. This objective should be okay, you linked up with the rest of the herd. Uh, everybody's happy, probably, maybe. Yeah, the drows are good. Oh, it's sabotage. Thanks for that, assholes. It's just the fences, so it's not a big deal. I think we'll, um, actually, you know what? I say that that's probably not a big thing, but we don't actually know if that's a threat. We've never really established that. Um, so why don't we still act like it matters? We'll get Ranger Team 2 over here to reboot. It's good for the Ranger Team to be in the segment of the park anyway, where the carnivores are. Then what do we got down here? The Dilo. One, two, three. Then Ranger Team 4, I guess we could just set right on this task. The Star X are out. We should be able to incubate another batch during the storm. I want trikes. That's a nine. We can't do that till the Brockies are back. That's fair. Right up your alley. Have a read. Uh, do we have anybody who can go do fossils? No. Also can't do that while the research is running. Okay, uh, two things damaged. That is this power. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Get the power back on, please. Ah, fuck, man. Turning in a storm is the worst. I was supposed to go on the other side of this building. Stop fucking moving. Stop fish chilling always in the wrong direction, too. We got that going. We should put in a backup generator on this station so that in the future we don't have to fight with that crap. Um, the backup generator just uh, keeps us going in a storm. Just thinking about where I want to get this so it's not in the way of things. Oh, that's where the tour track is. 
I mean, I guess we can just put it back here. Maybe we'll put it over here at an angle, then they can sneak past it better, probably. Okay, so that'll take care of that potential issue in the future, so that we aren't stuck dealing with um, power getting cut to the ranger station down there. This one is already on a backup. Yes. What else broke? Power cut down here. That's sallow. Uh, there should be three things broken. I don't see the third. This power. This power. Where's another thing that's broken? I'm a little worried it's a fence segment that's like tiny and missable. I don't see it. Okay, well, wait, 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 wait. No, that's Sabo. I guess we'll just fix the other ones and then that'll allow us. Oh, it's both of these are broken right here. Okay. Figured it out. Come on, get to those reboots. <clears throat> uh, if you can get to it before him, also do it. Okay, Storm's coming to an end. This one is mild. Okay. Um Myasora release. We never looked at our Myasora either. We'll have to check their skins now that the full eight are out. Well, when the daylight comes, of course. Okay, they're good to go. Get the park back open. Staff improvements is done. We're just waiting on sauropods now. Everything else is complete. Still can't synth though until that's done. Trodon. Oh, and that was the have six scientist prerequisite, right? I think so. Yeah, this one doesn't have any other prerequisites for scientists. So I'm going to fire the generalist. We get a second welfare specialist. Uh, which I might do just because just to have the set of six we'll do that and we can't put in another staff center yet can we no we can Ooh, yummy yummy give me a staff center um where do we want to put a staff center I don't think I want to mess with this is getting a little cramped this section's much more like established so if we have somewhere to squeeze a staff center in here, it's actually like per, that's like, like incredibly perfect. This is like unused space down here. That's really good. That's a really good spot for that. Um, yeah, we're trying to connect the path, not the staff center. Okay. Get a quick repair down here, and then we're good. Fences are all fixed. Give me a specialist facility for the extra points. Um, okay. 
And up here, we got what? Damage to the hatchery, damage to the tour. We'll fix it up. We're not even, yeah, incubating anything. It's perfect time to fix things up. Um, can you do me a favor real quick? Let's status check and make sure uh, these guys are happy. Oh, that's, you know what? Forget about it then. I'm not gonna, yeah. He's already leaving. I'm not gonna bother to like reorganize those in the proper direction to make that work. Dilo attacked a tour vehicle. Yeah, they do that. It doesn't matter. Sword pods three complete. If we can get this repaired. Wait, is this repaired? Yes. Okay, so now we have enough teams to do two more synthesis. I want eight trikes because it's a good number. Four stegos, eight trikes is like, uh, actually, ah, fuck it, it doesn't matter. It was like an inverted novel reference. The stegos had eight. The, no, the trikes had eight. The stegos had four. Yeah, no, those are the novel populations directly. I was thinking about the opposite, doing eight stegos and four trikes, because the stegos and the novel get sick, but the trikes get sick in the movie. So there's a good argument for inverting the populations, but we're not really replicating the populations anyway. Uh, so none of this matters. Do we want a Patasaurus? I think so. Uh, let's just do full humble. Reduce the rate at which area needs growth, territory, population. Yeah, so social is relevant too. So we'll do humble one social. So we'll put those in back here and adjust the ter just the enclosure size as necessary. Actually, let's preemptively do this by expanding it out a little bit more this direction as well. Because that's still kind of in view of the tour. So that's not bad at all. Okay. And the Apatos, I think, are a fair bit more chill than the Brockies, so we should be able to like make something work there. Trodon. Um, sure, he gains a skill point, you get some money for it, I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm willing to process that. Actually, is it complete? Yeah, okay, that completes Trodon. Then do it for sure. Do it. Let's get Brocky. I want five Brockies in this park. Great. So Pato's in 20 seconds. Same with the trikes. 3.5 stars. Let's do a quick pass through the ratings. 97s. Guest ratings are good, so it is appeal that is stopping us from being all that we can be. Fair enough. All right, viable five. We have um, you know what? Let's take these four. We're not gonna mash the populations, so just do whatever. Uh, logistics and a geneticist. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking, yeah. I'm thinking we have all the money in the world. And I'm thinking, let's just go ham on scientists. Humble, humble. Seven welfare, which we can't do. If we have anybody close, we can try to push point.
Let's do it. All right, there's everything on the way. The sun is up. Let's check out our Styrax and Myasaur. All right, start from one. You are the Yukon Letha we already looked at. See you in daylight, still not that cool. Quilly and Papu, eh, is that better than this one? Yeah, I like the back more where the um, colored scales or whatever you want to call these, this like splotchiness stands out a little bit more. I like that better. Styraco 3, Great Sandy Pilo, that's, that's a little bit better I think too. Kind of interesting body colors. It's really weird how splotchy it looks. It looks kind of strange. Death Valley Rana. Uh, eh, I like the red on the cross. That's nice. Limpopo Lethal Baits, but you're in a tree. All right. Ooh, that one's pretty good. That's a good Styrak look. Yeah, I like that one. This is my favorite of the lot, surprisingly. I think there's a red skin for Styrak I like too, but this this body looks less weird. The greens combine pretty well, and then the frill still has this, you know, nice double spot pattern, butterfly wings or whatever you want to call it. Kidneys! They're just, they're lungs. It's a lung pattern. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Definitely a solid Styrak. Do the horn colors change on these guys? They're just all kind of brownish, reddish, it looks like, I guess. Hard to tell without comparing them like in the same screenshot. All right, so those are the Styrax. Let's look at the Myasaurs. Also, everybody in here is happy, yeah. Myasaura, let's start with one. Maya number one is you, you are Svalbard Rana. That one's okay. You are Limpopo Papurana. Also gonna go with okay. Um, it's kind of an interesting look how like light the face is compared to the entire body. I like that. It gives it like a skull mask vibe. Maya three, right, Sandy Rana? Sure. Quillian Pukarana. I like this one. This one's cool. Yeah, I like the white face blending into the counter shading on the belly. And then the brown stripes on the black is an interesting look, too. That's my favorite so far. Number five, Yukon Rana. Uh, basically the same argument as the last. I think I actually like the brown better, though. They're kind of the same color for the body. Maybe if it was standing, it'd look a little different in terms of, like, the belly shading. Can't really tell, but we're not going to look that closely. They're just myosaurs. Amazon blank. Um, yeah, I mean, whatever. Svalbard Letho. Ooh, I like the stripes on this one. Those are some nice dark stripes. A better base color would be interesting to see. This base color is pretty underwhelming. Salar de Husco Pilophylax. Interesting green and blue. A little reminiscent of the um, Dominion Paras with the blue striping. Very similar blue color, although the base color is completely different. All right, I mean, they're Mayasaura. Nobody likes them. I don't mind them or anything, but they aren't they aren't my go-to, especially not with the new Paras and stuff now, too. Uh, a lot of panic in here from those cars. It's probably fine. It's a fairly crowded enclosure, all things considered. Um, and you're attacking a car, too. Okay, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Fossils are coming in here in seven seconds. Trodon's complete, but we gotta finish these trikes and apatos before we do anything else. Well, this is upgraded, right? Ooh, we do have the extra slot. Okay, I mean, sure, we'll do additional bays. Might as well slap it in there. Trodon! Do we have a skin that looks like Jurassic Park the game? Probably. I'm just gonna do random, though, I think. I'm not going to take the time to figure that out. Let's get a short-lived for sure. Um, do I care to breed an alpha here? I don't think so. We could just do full humble, and then we'll always have a humble one. 
I think that's no resilience. I mean, there'll be it's it'll be like eight Trodon in a pen or something. It shouldn't be that bad. All right, we'll just do that. There's that. Uh, we need to get their pen set up. I think we'll build it right here on this lake, like we mentioned. Let's just go ahead and start this. So. I think if we start somewhere like this, we can kind of just follow roughly the arc of the uh, the tour here. Maybe just uh, something like this. Swing in the back, kind of just cover this whole area, and then, yeah. Uh, let's delete this last bit. There. I think that works. It should be big enough. Also requires like no uh, terrain manipulation, which is pretty good. Uh, we do need power, of course, in this area. doesn't matter. Just slap it in there. Power is still good overall. Trikes. Some additional trikes coming out. It'll give us, what, nine trikes? That's fine. Sabotage Gus Process. Okay, nothing we can do about it. Uh, nine Trodon. No, not a single negative trait amongst the whole lot. Everyone is humble, so it doesn't matter who the alpha is either. I mean, if we have like a social or something. No, it looks like... Oh, they're like all nocturnal, because yeah, Trodons are nocturnal. That makes sense. Yeah, that seems... That all seems fine. Um, I might want another batch of Apatos. Let's do that. In the air. Okay, and let's look at these dinos. So if we put a pat, we're gonna put a Patasaurus in here, but we haven't checked Cohab. The Dryos have enough space for a species even if they don't get along nothing hates them no cohab on the oplo it's completely happy styrak is cohab on the dry out yeah so a few apatosaurs is not gonna be a problem at all great uh, and the apatos are ready can't do the airlift release though yet anyway great not great but you know it's fine an acceptable understanding 124, 375, 375. We might want to upgrade these to... Mm. Yeah, because those Apatos are going to come in there. They're going to add more to like these shops. Let's upgrade these. Get these deleting now. Okay. Um, what are we doing? Those are releasing. Fossils. Fossils just finished. And we should be doing research too, probably. Brocky. 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 And I guess a little Kamara for seasoning. Okay. 
two more apatos. Four is a nice round number. I like four. A lot of stuff queued up to release there. Uh, these are deleted now. Let's look at the ratings. So food is the one that's the worst off because these are both far away. So let's put food first. Large food right smack dab here. Quite a lot of orange. And this Korean barbecue is fine. Presumably similar thing. I don't know, we'll just slap root beer in there until it matters. And a shopping. So we've got that power pylon in the way. Here's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're just gonna go no and a no. That has to finish building before we can get anything in there, though. Uh, was that one entirely unnecessary? That pylon doesn't seem to do anything. Yeah, we're not even fueling off of backup generators. So that pylon was entirely unnecessary. Probably this pylon was added later to cover some stuff. But then it just ended up not mattering after that. Yeah, there's the one right here. Also, some stuff was moved around, so that could also be part of it. Uh, it's good, though, because it frees up plenty of space for uh, activities. Again, a ton of orange. Ammonite. With. Aquarium. With. Photo booth, because infotainment sucks, right? Pretty sure. 20 guests only in that one. That seems strange. I mean, it is taking care of the issue with um, coverage, so it's fine. 90s, this is 95 is about all we can hope for, so that's pretty good. Yeah, okay. Publicity, oh, the publicity rating's in the toilet. Yeah, so everything is underperforming because we're only at 60% capacity, uh, normal capacity on guests because they besmirched our, our name. Let's get the Apatos out first, I guess. Let's do one, two. The Apatosaurs were taking what? I just checked it. Apatosaurus is tall leaf. Tall leaf. Ground leaf, but we did tall to account for a patasaurus in the first place. Yes, I remember now. There's a, a very steep hillside over here. I don't know if that was me. That might have been me. Forest tall leaf, missing forest. Mangrove blank. Mangrove letho. Eh, you can actually notice the stripe coloring. That's not awful. Like for a sauropod skin, which is usually like painfully subtle. I don't hate it. Uh, looking for some tall leaf in here. Forest needs are met, but marginally. Do that, see how it works out. So those apatos are happy. Have we upset anybody else yet? Seems like they're all good. We should check their actual ratings tab because they can have 100% uh, rounded up and still have red on their environmental needs, which is always, you know, potentially a problem during uh, 
territory adjustments if they shrink their territories. Okay, let's get the other two in there while we're at it, I guess. Get the four Pados situated. I want one in over here. Probably the other one down on this side. Actually, it should have been down by that gate, but whatever. So we're going to be, we should be about, we're about four stars before the Apato. So we should be pulling up on 4.5 pretty soon between the Apatos and the Trodons and the penalties for diversity being taken care of. Research available, stay goes this one, 10, 3, you take a nap, you take a nap. Fossils get processed as well. Some birds. Brocky, 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 Brocky. Can't fit it. Getting close to being finished. Uh, do we have more Brocky to pull out there? I'm not sure. But do we have anything else to dig right now? No, not really. Might as well just do it then. Uh, yeah, you do that. Troda! Release via airlift. nine Trodon. If it's too many, we'll probably just sell some to make that uh, enclosure work. Being transported. All right, this is three, I think, right here, up in this corner first. Okay, number three, you are Quillian Letho. Okay, so that's the same pattern as this mangrove one, which is just a different base color. I like the mangrove one a lot better but it's fine. Uh, yeah, territory's still good. I'm actually kind of impressed that this enclosure seems to be working out with as narrow as it is. Missing a little bit of forest, but I'm confident we can fix that. Uh, Yukon Rana. So this is probably just base game, or the Canon Apato colors. Maybe it's not Yukon, but it is some sort of gray, gray-blue, um, Apatosaurus. Sneak a little bit of extra forest in here in some places. Okay, maybe a little extra tall leaf. Just, you know, just a little safety margin for territory adjustments. Okay, uh, I think that's pretty good. The Yoplos don't give a shit. Their margins are incredible. The Dryosaurus, also really good margins. I mean, these are basically all set up before we expanded the enclosure. So their margins, yeah, their margins are all phenomenal. Okay. So we can take away from them whatever we need to to get the Apatosaurus a little more love if it ends up being questionable. Mm, their tall leaf has a little bit of a, 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 a little bit of give there. They're pretty good. Okay. Definitely not putting any more Apatos in, though. That's, uh, that's all that's going to be in there. Trodon! Coming in now. First Trodon, you want forest, open space, and prey. That is a pretty sick color combo. Uh, Limpopo Letho Bates. That is fucking sick. I like that a lot. That's cool. All right. Um, feeder, goats. Maybe over here. Somewhere, well, that's 
Yeah. Unfortunately blocked by the uh, the people coming in. But then they need forest, and they have none whatsoever, really. Is the forest also, like, blocked by uh, the inbound drops here, or what? So you're pretty cool. Trodon 2. Also pretty sick. That is also great. Papu Yukon. When Popo Letho. That, that's a good 1-2 Trodon combo. This one's even better, I think. I like the... Looks like he's been uh, chowing down on, uh, on uh, some, uh, some, uh, some of our friends or something. Some red popsicles. This one's coming down kind of in the woods. And then Popo, Papurana. Can't really see you. Oh, there we go. Jesus, they're all awesome. To be fair, that's just a combination of the two. The base skin from one and the pattern from the other. But that's still really cool. Especially like in this darker environment. That's awesome looking. Actually, I really like this one right now. I gotta, I gotta screenshot him. All right, you're the thumbnail friend. You're pretty cool. I like your I like your vibe looking up to the side a little bit, you know, in the dark, in the trees. Yeah, pretty cool. That's a star for a star. Uh, you're still missing prey. Did I not put down a goat feeder? No, it is a goat feeder. It's just not in their territory. Uh, oh yes, we have. Um... Oh, we never, we never. Um check their territory so they're uh not happy with me my, my my bad dudes sorry i'll fix it let's fix the forest first i mean we might have to sell some clear them out mm, no i think we're fine Okay, it's fine. This is probably um, an ailment from not having their needs met, uh, which is a thing that can happen if you don't meet their needs. Um, okay, Trodon 4. I want to see you from the side, friend. It's getting dark out, but I mean, that's another sick ass Trodon. Pilo Limpopo. That's our first pillow, though. That's really good, too, with, like, the black and the yellow stripes combined. That's just disgustingly awesome. These Trodons are freaking cracked. They're great. Uh, how's your environment? Your environment's perfect. Good margins. It's five down yet? Nope. There's five. Don't do that. Let me see him from the side. Five is oh, a little getting dark, getting hard to tell. Five is not bad either. That's probably my least favorite so far, but still a really good skin combo. The Trodons are pretty great looking. Oh, common cold controlled. Was it sickly? Do we have like a sickly triceratops? <clears throat> Doesn't seem right. No, I guess there's just a common cold outbreak and it just didn't spread. Okay. Hmm. All right, this is six. Oh, uh, we should be doing other stuff because like all our scientists are idle right now. Yeah, so we just need to finish up the Brockies. More treasure. 85 and 8. So Brocky is not finished. We're missing a Brock fossil somewhere. Gross.
Actually, let's use a genetics person. Oh, uh, we totally missed this dig site with Brachia right here. Whoops. So that'll finish Brachiosaurus. Rival company claims dig site, lose money, task time. Uh, take my money, assholes. Research. Stego's ready. We gotta dig up Stego as well. Let's push for Rex. Can we make a 12 on one of these geneticists? You betcha. Okay, so we get the Suko and then the Rex. <clears throat> we can do big paths. I guess we'll knock this out too. Might as well. Uh, large power, concern operational small, five operational sub, 3.5 stars, prerequisite node improved power distribution. Let's do that then. Uh, could we make you a nine? Yes. There's that. We were doing storm upgrades too. I guess we can wait for that. Yeah, nothing else we wanted to synth right now, really. Do you want to bolster populations here on anything? Brocky is the only thing I really want to bring more into right now. Oop, I saw a 99% sneaking in there. The galleys? Ground leaf? And we still have like a corner we can expand back into, which we probably will have to. Why do we do that? Because we're gonna put at least one more stego in, I think, eventually. Because right now four is like their bare minimum for um their social limit. Oh, uh Trodon eight. What was the last one we checked? Did we check six? Great Sandy blank. No, we did not check six. Six is probably boring because it's Great Sandy only. Seven, Great Sandy Letho. Better view of you. Uh, you need to open space. Okay, we'll fix that in a second. That one is, yeah, that's the worst one so far out of the pattern ones. Number eight, Quillian blank. Uh, yep, you just look like a blank ass dino. These guys really do need their pattern, I think. All right, and the nine that we can finalize the enclosure. You are Limpopo Litho. I'm pretty sure we already have one of these. Uh, disgustingly awesome though. Missing just open space. Too much water. That looks. Um, that looks like a like a donger there for a moment. Let's not have it be like that. All right, Trodons are good then. It's nice safe margins. We're not gonna put out any more Trodons beyond this, but we could. It is actually viable. Um, oh, none of these were intelligent. Wait, why does Trodon, one of the largest brained dinosaurs relative to body mass, not get the intelligent trait in this mode? What is that? Wait, what? That's ridiculous. How do they not have intelligent? That's insane. There's no way we got such bad luck that we just didn't roll it nine times in a row, right? They just legitimately don't have intelligent, I'm pretty sure. That's so goofy. 
I mean, you can argue like it's a different kind of intelligence or something strange, but like, why in the world are they not smart? That's crazy. I don't get it. Well, anyway, uh, somehow it's been an hour. I, I legitimately don't know how that happened. Um, so let's end this episode here immediately. Catch you next time.